What is up, I'm Speo, here with three Sinisters, and this is the growl that we're building today. And with a little context... And we'll be once again using expands to make it happen, so first up, pull up a fresh expands unit, and do the basic setup. So we'll bring down the attack on the amp env to zero, we'll bring up the sustain all the way, reduce the release to zero, We'll bring down the polyphony to 1, and we'll set the octave of oscillator 1 to minus 2, so we have a nice bass range. We'll be using wavetable number 60, which is the X table growler, and we'll be using mod envelope 1 in the modulation matrix to modulate the position with 100%. On the mod envelope 1, we'll have a very short attack of about 30 milliseconds, and a pretty short decay as well of about 120 milliseconds. We'll set the sustain somewhere at about two-thirds of the way up, and we can also curve the decay. On the oscillator, we'll use modulator 1 as a uh, zoom mod, and we'll bring up the percentage to about 20. Uh, the second mod we'll use as a gate to shape the start of the waveform here. With a percentage of about 17. Let's move on to filter 1, where we'll choose the ladder notch filter, set the cutoff at about 500 Hz, and we'll bring up the envelope amount to about 33%. And we'll use mod envelope 2 to control the filter, so we'll switch to that down here and set it up so that we only have one decay slope right here, with about, um, let's check, 200 milliseconds. And we can also curve this. So this is kind of where we're going right now. And now that this is set up on the expanse itself, we can do some post-processing and make it sound just a little more sparkly. So we bring up an equalizer to get rid of some of the problem frequencies at about 300 hertz. Which just makes the whole thing sound a lot cleaner right away. And we'll also clean up some of the high frequencies at about 2.5k. Much cleaner. Then we'll bring up the Scream 4 distortion on tape mode, full speed, and the damage at about 54. And we're pretty much done. Uh, all that's missing is a little reverb so that we have this illusion of space and a bit more of a stereo, uh, stereo width to this sound. And I like to use the plate algorithm because we have this very handy LF damp knob right here which basically gets rid of the low frequencies in the reverb tail. But we'll use very low settings for dry, wet and decay, as usual. Just to fill this out a little bit. And we're already done. So let's pull up the notes from the sequencer and see what we got. We can also set the bend amount to 12, so a full octave, and modulate the pitch bend. So we have a nice little slide right here. And let's check it out. Alright, uh, so this should sound pretty similar then to what we had. So here's how you build this kind of snappy growl that I like to use a lot in these uh, heavier glitch up tracks, but you can use it in any genre you like. Maybe not ambient, but well, what ifs. Have a good one of whatever you're having, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.